With COVID-19 hitting several parts of the city, from the police department all the way to city council, now the virus has taken the life of a D-DOT bus driver. CW50's April Morton has more. On March 17th, the drivers with the Detroit Department of Transportation walked off the job and refused to drive over concerns of COVID-19. One of those drivers was Jason Hardgrove. Is at some point in time where you got to draw the line and say enough is enough. Hardgrove posted this video live on Facebook expressing his concern over a passenger coughing on his bus. That was March 21st. On the 23rd, he came back to Facebook and let us all know that he was found uh, positive for the coronavirus. That was on the 23rd. And then nine days later, he lost his uh, life. Hardgrove's friend and fellow DDOT driver Reggie Glasgow says Hardgrove's death could have been prevented. He says when they walked off the job and voiced their safety concerns, management implemented some changes, but he says it was not enough to keep them safe. Boarding the passengers through the back door and blocking off the, the, the entrance for them to come to the front, we thought that would be safe. But Glasgow says it wasn't because germs still travel around the bus. He says drivers were told their buses will be cleaned at the end of every line, and that hasn't happened. DDOT released a statement saying they are devastated by the loss of Jason Hardgrove and their hearts go out to the family. They also stated drivers will be tested alongside the police and other emergency personnel. Drivers also say they're not only concerned for their safety, but also the safety of passengers, saying many of them are not traveling for essential purposes, but just taking advantage of free services. Our concerns is our safety, and with Jason dying, you know, it don't need to be no more of us dying. In Detroit, April Morton, CW50 News at 10.